live and resting on my elbow on the living room floor. And today, I, I promised you yesterday that uh, I was going to uh, at least demonstrate that the technical aspect of the, the winter solstice uh, oracle. Now, I, I placed a, a, a picture of, a, of something that I did a couple of years ago, and I just went to uh, uh, review this because the oracle is always you. I can't really do an oracle for you, even when I read people's tarot cards. It's it's them that's being the oracle. I'm just uh, um, a humble commentator, okay? So this is something that you can do using only the tarot trumps, the 22 trumps, okay? And it's something that, that uh, you interpret uh, throughout the year. We're setting it up for the winter solstice, uh, which is uh, late today or tomorrow. And... Uh, but uh, actually, uh, when you do this spread, uh, you keep a picture of it or, or have notes on it, uh, because at least 12 of these um, are assigned to each of the, the coming months, January, February, etc. So it'll take you a whole year to actually uh, uh, approach getting a, a full oracle but this is this is what you, what you would do now truly i'm i'm laying here on the living room floor here and a man of my girth finds it sort of difficult to uh, uh constance has helped me set up my uh thing here as we say uh first of all i'm going to show you there's our uh our surface. Now it's going to be kind of hard because I'm going to use two hands. Uh, first of all, there's 78 cards in a, a deck of tarot cards, and this is the, uh, an earlier edition of the Tarot of Ceremonial Magic, right there. And uh, there is uh, the uh, a newer edition of it over there. Uh, this is the one that I actually uh, uh, work with and use, so it's getting old. It's almost a Look at it. I, I try to take good care of it. It's been all around the world. Uh, it does look a little bit like a biohazard. Yeah, I know. Um, so there's 78 cards in it and only 22 trump cards. And we're only going to use the, the trump card in this. So I'm going to show you how I select the trump cards in a shuffled order. Uh, by starting off with a full deck. And let's see here. I don't, there's, there's that. What I'm going to do is just for a moment, I'm going to do this here while I shuffle the deck a few times. I don't know what you're seeing there, but I'm going to just shuffle the deck a couple times while I go. I invoke the E.O. that thou send through the great angel that is set over the operations of this secret wisdom, that thereby we may obtain true wisdom of hidden things to the glory of thine ineffable name. Amen. Okay, so I've shuffled a full deck. Usually I do a, a Ganesh chant. But I've already done that this morning, and I won't put you through that. Okay, so here's what I do. I flip the deck face up. Ooh, we've already got a trump right there. And I spread them out face up like that. And starting from the far right... I pick out the trumps. I know this is probably boring. There is one right there. Ah, there is one right there. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Oh, there's one right there. One right there. There. I know this is probably boring for most of you here, but okay, I'm keeping them neatly stacked in order because that's how we'll be reading them. Ooh, there's the tower. Ooh, oh, I love the justice card, the magician. Wow, got a lump of them. Oh, got a lump of them there. You heard me shuffle. Ah, the devil. Okay. Death. Star. The fool. Lust. The world card. Saturn, right? In the, the Aeon, which used to be the old judgment card. Hanged man. Okay. So we should have a deck of 22 trumps. And I took them out in order. So when I lay them st straight down, that's the order I found them. Now, just I'm just going to quickly review here to make sure that I haven't overlooked something because I hadn't really counted. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Okay, now I'm going to scoop these up. Excuse me for a second. And set them aside. So, put them right here. So here we have our 22 trump cards. Now, I'm going to put them, the first 10, in tree of life order. Okay, now, you probably have uh, a basic idea of how the tree of life goes from number one, Godhead, uh, kind of down levels of consciousness all the way down to number 10, your head. <laughs> uh, and everything else is just God falling asleep and dreaming it is uh, number two, dreaming, number two, dreaming it's number three, number three, dreaming it's number four, uh, you know, all the way down to your head. And the whole uh, initiatory process is, is you waking back up again. You uh, waking from your 10 consciousness to your 9 consciousness, etc. So, uh, but I said I'm not going to be doing any big interpretations here. I'm just showing you the mechanics of this operation. Now, let me get my, my leg out of here. So I can lean over a bit more. Okay, so first card I draw for Kether. Okay, that's the top Sephiroth. Kether on the Tree of Life is the Wheel of Fortune. Number two, Hokma. Ooh, the Chariot card for Hokma. That's the Holy Grail. At least it's the delivery service of the Holy Grail. And in number three, the High Priestess. I'm going to bring these down a little bit here so I won't have to reach. Number four, which is the Sphere of Jupiter, we've got the Empress. Number five, which is Gebura, the sphere of Mars, we have the Hermit. Number six, which is the sphere of the Sun. Ah, whoa, okay. 
Sol and Aries will be our first uh, uh, start of the solar year. Very happy. He's very happy in, uh, for the emperor. Uh, look at the proximity of the, the empress with the, with the emperor and the, the holy man, if you will, that uh, does uh, the marriage ceremony in the, in the Terra world is the hermit. So that's, uh, that's very interesting. Well, to me, anyway. Then in Netzach, number seven. Oh, God. Is the wild and crazy illusionary moon card. And number eight, Hode. Ah, is the art card. Or in the older decks, it's the temperance card. And, and number nine, which is the sphere of the moon. Oh, uh, eight is the sphere of Mercury, and seven is the sphere of uh, Venus. And then in the sphere of the moon, number nine, we have the lovers. Then finally down in number 10, your, oh, shit. <laughs> number 10 is the lightning struck tower. Okay, there is our Tree of Life section of this uh, Winter's Oracle here. And uh, if you'd done it for yourself, you would probably want to take a good hard look at this or a snapshot of this and uh, see where everything uh, belongs and where it doesn't. Now, uh, each of the sephira or positions here uh, has many attributes of their own, uh, and some uh, uh, pl planetary aspects uh, of these cards may be at odds, or may be harmonious with uh, with the card in a particular sephira or another. You probably want to take uh, take note of that to see what uh, uh, aspects, like in an astrological way, or would be helpful to you during that uh, month or during that uh, the the year itself. We're not dealing with months yet, uh, but it's kind of a uh, kind of a portrait of uh, of uh, your your cosmic. Uh, the cards you're dealt for the for the year. Okay, we've got twelve cards left, so we're going to start with January. January, here we've got the Justice card. February is the Magician. March, ooh. Now March, that March, April and, and stuff is sort of the, in Thelemic circles is the Holy Days. And that's kind of neat to have the Hierophant there. January, February, March. April is the lovers. Excuse me. <laughs> they look like lovers, though. They're not. April is the sun. May. <laughs> the merry, lusty month of May is the devil. June oh, is the death card. July, that's my birthday. Give me a little hope. August is the fool. 
September is the lust card. Or the strength card. October is the universe. Oh, put that here. Now put this here. November is the judgment card or the Aeon card. And the year winds up with the hanged man. If you were with us yesterday, you would know that Constance said, uh, rolled the dice for me for something I needed to uh, uh, learn for myself. And it was the hanged man yesterday. So I guess this pretty much is, is uh, my reading here. So I better take a Nice snapshot of this before it's all over. That is my winter's oracle right there. See the tree of life, starting with the uh, wheel of fortune coming down, and then January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that's our demonstration. Let me turn it back. Here I am. I, I'm sitting on the floor, and I will uh, confess that both my legs are asleep. So until tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself. Be good to each other. I think Constance is in the kitchen. Do what thou wilt. She'll be the whole of the law. We'll see you tomorrow.